Hey guys, welcome back to another video. We're doing a range test number two. So, uh, hey guys, you asked for it, so yeah. we're doing it for you. Second one. Yeah. And here we go. Here we are. It's really windy out today. Oh, oh. yes, it is. Windy. Oh, windy. All right, guys, so I'm going to show you our firmware at the front today. We've updated everything. So we're, oh, where did that go? There it is. So the aircraft firmware, 150, and the RC is 300. So we have the, cali the compass calibration uh, firmware on here. So the compass issue you guys noticed in the last video should be fixed for this video. And, uh, yeah, so we're going to see how far we can get today, guys. We're out in the country. We're out in the field here. Yeah. Nothing around us. To show you around. So. As you can see, yeah, we are mostly out in the country. We're going to put her in sport. And we're just going to take a good direction right there. So we're going to go fly. And there you go. You guys commented on the heights last time. Yep. So we're gonna go up. See Thank you guys. 400 feet. 400 feet they wanted to see. So I guess around there, yeah. 400, 500 feet in height. And let's see how far we can get this time compared to our range test number one. Mm. So this is a range test number two. Ho hopefully uh, it'll be a lot better in distance wise yeah I mean as you guys can see there's a rope no civilization around here there we get the warning so at about 400 feet uh, you get the warning that you're potentially interrupting aircraft so we'll stay just under 400 feet today for our flight and yeah no civilization guys good views today and we'll see how far we can get. So right now we are at 2,600 or 700. We got full bars. No, no interruptions. I'm not sure what happened there, but we'll agree to that. Sure, yep. Spring Bank Airport. So we're gonna kind of follow the river today, I think. Followed the river last video. Yeah. It's really nice, so. You know what, we didn't record. We're gonna record. <laughs> Forgot to get. All right, here we go. So we're gonna record. So you guys should get some nice footage of this uh, instead of just the screen on the, my controller here. So yeah. So far, so good. Five thousand feet. Five thousand feet. Strong signal. Yeah. So a couple of you guys in the comments last on the last video was mentioning about the antennas. So we actually looked into it. The Four Hawks, I believe, was the more popular one. And uh, yeah, after the mod that we did to this controller, that those Four Hawks would go on here quite nicely. Uh, I did look them up. They look like they're about 250 bucks US, so about 400 bucks my money, Canadian dollars, and. Um, yeah, I would love to get a pair of those, but uh, I'm not sure it's going to happen right away. And I mean, to be honest with you, what we get out of these uh, antennas are, are amazing. For me, this is more than more than fine. So I wouldn't mind trying out the RCs, but uh, or the Four Hawks, I should say. But we'll see. We'll see. I'm happy with this as it is, anyway. So. Yeah, I mean, realistically, we wouldn't fly all the way out this far, you know what I mean? But this, for for this, is just, you know, range test purposes. Yeah. So, just to show you guys, you know. Something else we thought of is, Rowie's got the Mavic 1, the first gen. 
you guys are interested in seeing a video of that. In this kind of similar setting, open, open fields, no civilization, should get strong signals for him. We can do a range test or uh, we'll do a race. We could do a race. <laughs> see, see who wins, see who can go the farthest. So now we're past 10,000 feet, guys. We're getting oh, the wow. yellow, getting the yellow bars, but... That is pretty good. Right, we're not dropping out signal like we did at 10, just before 10,000 feet. I think yeah, was just last before. Video. Yeah, so... Oh, it looks like we we'll enter altitude zone. That seems to be okay. 11,000 feet. Still keep 11, going. 11,000 feet, guys. Yeah. Actually, it looks like the video has stopped. So I wonder if we're... about half battery there so and you know what it's not gonna let me go any more than that so I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna call that a success I think it, it is a success that is 11,000 feet because last 20. time we reached to 9,000 yeah it was nine nine thousand eight hundred something like that I think around there so yeah, yeah. so I've got the the fly market on back order so when that guy comes in then we'll do this again with the upgraded battery life so yes if i can remember how to get to this spot this is a really nice spot then we'll uh we'll try it again with the extended battery see yeah. if we can get farther so i don't we know why do i don't know why um I don't know what's going on here here I got 12 minutes left, but 12 minutes. The screen does not look to be updating. <laughs> okay, well, right I there. guess, uh, yeah, I guess we gotta. We're gonna do the update that one screen, we're do I guess. The return I to home. We'll get it brought home here. Once it gets closer, you yeah, see, I still get, I'm getting full bars, getting missed, but. Maybe it's the is the height. Could be the wind. Oh yeah, look at or that. Or the wind. wind. Yeah, look at that wind on the compass. Yeah. But it's very windy. It is windy in this area, so if we had no wind, then it would probably go smoothly. Yeah, I think so. It's amazing how. Uh, these uh, devices can detect if we're close to an airport or in any aircraft, which is good. You know, it's good to know. Yeah, we don't want to hit an aircraft. <laughs> we don't want to hit nothing. Nope. We got six minutes to bring it home. 8,800 8, feet. Are you worried? You think it'll make it home in time? I think it'll make it home. I'm hoping so. Yeah. I can't see it. It's it's way it, out there. It would suck because then we gotta go fetch it. We gotta look for it. Yeah, and see that river there? We don't want it to hit the river. Yeah. <laughs> that would not be good. Yeah, sometimes it makes me nervous flying the drone this far out. It's very far out, I can't see it. Yeah. Um, and I don't know, we can't cross some of those fields. Those look like farmer's fields. And, private property everywhere so yeah retrieving it would be Good. an adventure it would all be. in of itself yeah and then then we would have to ask permission from the farmers if we can cross their field to retrieve our device and we don't want to go down that route <laughs> i would just hop the fence though so. or hop the but fence i'm a rebel like that so, yeah i yeah. guess yeah I'm a bad influence on you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think we're gonna make it. We are 6,400 feet. I could probably take it over and bring it here, but it's doing a good job. It's doing a good job, yeah. So what were some of the other comments? Do you remember? Some other comments? Yeah. People were making. Uh, a lot of the comments were good. Um, there was oh, 
you know what so a lot of people were asking for a comparison between a non-modded controller and a modded controller uh, so we we only have the one controller that we've obviously modded so we did not think of doing range tests prior to modding it they were horrible anyways from uh, what i was getting but if there's any one of you guys in the calgary area uh, with an, with the dji mini 3 uh, reach out to us we'd love to uh, do one of these videos with you guys yes yeah and then we could compare you know how far you get where yes. we can go and once and for all put it to bed whether the mod is worth it or not exactly right people are divided out there yeah people are not sure so I would be curious myself, you know, if uh, if the modded, if the non-modded can go just as far as the one we modded. Yes. And, and I don't think it can. I really don't. Yeah. So, you know. But we'll see. Let's see. 3,200 feet. Five minutes left. Yeah. Should be coming. We are definitely scraping it. I should have paid more attention to the battery life as we were flying out there. Cause you know they say 34 minutes dji says 34 yeah. minutes obviously real world you're never going to get that but i don't think it's been anywhere 10 minutes since we flew out so yes. i wasn't worried about the battery at that point but with all the wind and in sport mode uh we killed the battery pretty quick so wow uh five minutes to go 2,000 feet i think we're going to be close but i think we will make it it, it should was, be on its it way it's far out there really far out there yeah yeah there we are right there perfect there. it's on its way can I override it yes I can So maybe that did help having it up at 400 feet, right? We yeah. got an extra thousand some odd, almost 1100 feet we got out of that. So we were also in a less, there's nothing out here. I mean, yeah, this is empty. Even where we were before, there was not much out there, but this is even less. Oh, well, I could see it right there. But we managed to reach to 11,000. Yeah, 11, So 000. which is, which is amazing. That's awesome. That's awesome. Uh, it's getting blown around out there. And it's very windy. I don't know if you guys can hear it, but I, I do have a wind muff. There it is. So, and there it is. It is made it home. Made it home. Right. There we go. Yeah, look at it just zip around. Eh? Welcome back. We are back here at our house and uh, yeah, we're here to talk about the range test number two. Um, as you can see in that video, uh, we we reached how, how many feet is that? It's just over 11,000 feet. Just over 11,000. 11, yeah. Like so, yeah. So, Pretty we, good. so we were actually reading the comments. Um, actually listening to you guys, um, you know, letting us know that you guys can reach more than 10,000 uh, kilometers, I would say, kilometers or, yeah, kilometers or feet. Um, in our testing, like, we, we're, we're doing our best to, to try to surpass that. And yeah, if, if the drone says uh, this is as far as we can go, it, it's just as far as it can go. For, for some of you guys, um, you know, reading the, the comments, you guys are reaching up to 15 kilometers. And I would like to actually see that, yeah. you know. Show us the video, guys. Show, like, show us yeah. the video. So, I think they mean feet. I think they mean 15,000 feet. Probably. That's what they're reaching. Because 15,000 feet. We got 11,000 today. Yeah. Uh, battery was 40%. Uh, it was heavy winds, so we'll give it that. Had some good winds going on, but exactly. I mean, if you're making it 15,000 feet out, 
you're barely getting enough to bring it back. Yeah. Um, so I can't see people getting 15,000 kilometers or 15, 15 kilometers. Because yeah. 11,000 is three and a quarter kilometers, right? Something like that, guys. So exactly. to get, you know, three times that distance, mm -hmm. uh, that's a one-way trip for sure. It is. That, that's a one-way trip. It so, is. Um, but if you can, if you guys out there can do that, uh, hit us up with a video. Yeah. yeah. Love to see if, it. If, uh, if Love you guys are it. making it out there uh, that far, I mean, a thumbs up to you guys. Yeah. Um, but we're we're trying to show you guys our drone uh how far we're actually going yeah you know i mean if you guys are going to share your video with us at least show the the screenshot from your your controller not the mm -hmm. not the drone so that we can actually see yeah. the the distance of feet yeah. right show the whole video speed yeah. it up if you have to but let's let's see it i'd love to see it um because yeah. maybe we're doing we're doing something different that uh, we can we can learn from you guys out there. Yeah, so, exactly. Yeah, we, we, we love to read the comments and learn what you guys are talking about, and we've we've incorporated that in this yeah. test for sure. So and and I noticed with uh, with the other comments too, they were wondering uh, what drone it is if it's a if it's a CE or an FCC. I'm I'm just wondering maybe there is a difference between those two. Uh, of range wise when when flying you I think know from it's a software lock probably I, I think it's software lock software lock yeah. i guess i'm but here in north america uh we're fcc so yeah the further you know the further signal that you can get yeah um so yeah if there's a way to check it guys let us know but uh yeah, yeah it's supposed to be fcc for us so um yeah. other than that i mean we we're doing our best you know, to try to show you uh, how far we can get with with the drone, and of course, uh, with, with all uh, of all the things that's that goes with it, like with the wind, uh, the aircraft uh, notification, right? So yeah, yeah. Maybe I mean, we can find a spot further away from the airport. Yeah. Um, I forgot about there's a secondary airport out kind of where we were, but not not really, but. It looked like some of the warnings did not want us to go further than 11,000 feet. Yeah. Or at least in the area that we were flying into, did not want us to go. Exactly. Uh, and, and then the battery was dying anyway. So it, you know, kind of worked out. But yeah, but, uh, but yeah if there's anyone, like, like we were saying earlier, anyone in the Calgary area with a uh, non-modded controller, uh, yeah. DJI 3, reach out to us. Uh, I'd love to do a, a range video with you and see which one goes farther. Yeah, so non-modded versus uh, modded. So that'd be kind of cool video, I think. Yeah. Well, uh, you have anything to to add on? I think that's good. Yeah, I think that's good. I don't know if we're going to do any more range test videos. You guys, let us know if you want us to do more. We'll do more. Yeah. Um, yeah. Otherwise, I think we're going to get into some podcasting videos. So soon. Yeah. yeah. So so uh, stay tuned. That. Stay tuned for that one. Sure. Uh, we're just getting uh, uh, that all set up. But uh, yeah, if you like this video, give us a thumbs up and uh, subscribe. And uh, until next time, we'll see you in the next video.